My name is Rose and today I am going to be showing you guys how to make this awesome southern style stewed chicken. This recipe is amazing y'all. This is the perfect definition for comfort food. If you guys want to see it, stay tuned of course. And if you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know you're new in the comment section. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. And without further ado, let's jump right into the recipe. Okay guys, here are the ingredients. I have olive oil, minced garlic, Cajun seasoning, Italian seasoning, and also I have some celery salt, onion powder, garlic powder. We have all-purpose flour unsalted butter, chopped green bell pepper, chicken broth, chopped onion, and chopped celery, and of course, the chicken. All right guys, let's get to cooking. First thing I'm going to be doing is marinating my chicken. Of course, like I said, the measurement for all the ingredients will be below in the description box. Check that out. So I'm mixing all of my dry ingredients together just like so. Give that a quick mix. Next, we're going to be drizzling a little bit of olive oil onto our chicken so that seasoning can stick on there. And yeah. Now that we have the olive oil all over the chicken, we're going to be applying the seasoning on there. Now I'm using my hand with a glove, as you guys can see, to make sure I work in the seasoning really good onto the chicken because we want this chicken to be nice and flavorful. So we're going to rub the seasoning in just like so. All right, now we have our chicken nice and well seasoned. We're going to cover the chicken, set it aside. Now you can leave the chicken to be marinated for about 30 minutes before cooking, but I went ahead and cook it right away. Now in my hot pan, I am going to be adding in the oil. Next, we're going to be placing the chicken right in there. Now you want to have a nice golden brown color on the chicken, so that's why we're going to start by searing the chicken first, okay? I like that method. You know, they say color is flavor. Yes, there is flavor, but we want to see it. <laughs> so I am going to sear the chicken until we have a nice golden brown color, a beautiful golden brown color onto the chicken. Then we can flip it over. Now, tell me this chicken is not well seasoned. Now we're going to flip it over, cook the other side. It'll take about three to five minutes, okay? Make sure your stove is on medium high heat. Mm -hmm. 
So now what we're going to be doing next is taking the chicken out just like that. Just remove them, set them aside. I am adding in the butter as you guys can see. We're going to let it melt. Once our butter is melted, we're going to be adding in the veggies. As you guys can see, my veggies are finely chopped. Now, if you can chop yours even finer than mine, go ahead and do it because it'll take less time for the veggies to tenderize. So try your best to chop them smaller, okay? Now we're going to be cooking the veggies until they're extremely tenderized, nice and soft. Or until you have something like this. Y'all can see the onion is nice and soft and translucent and the bell peppers and the celery are nice and cooked. Now we're going to be adding the garlic. I added last because I didn't want to burn it. To tenderize our veggies, it took about five to seven minutes. You don't want to burn your garlic. You want that garlicky flavor. Once my garlic is in there, I am going right after um, the garlic I'm adding in the all-purpose flour. We're going to be cooking the flour to remove the raw flour taste, okay? So cook your flour for about three to five minutes. You want a nice golden, not golden, but a nice brownish color once your flour is done cooking because you need to remove that raw flour taste. It's not a good taste, honey. Now, if you're enjoying this recipe and you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell as well so you can get notified whenever I upload a brand new recipe just like this one. And also, don't forget to let me know you knew in the comments so I can welcome you with a nice welcome message. I'm going to be adding in my chicken broth. Okay, just add that in, stir it together until all of the veggies are nice and well combined with the gravy. That's what we're doing now, making a nice thick gravy for the chicken. Then we're going to be adding the chicken right in, just like that. Now that we add our chicken in, we're going to cover it and let it simmer on medium low. Literally medium low heat for about an hour to an hour and a half until your chicken is literally falling apart. Nicely tender. Look at this and the aroma in my kitchen right now is unbelievable. Y'all can see how tender the chicken looks. Y'all have to try this recipe because this right here, when I said comfort food, comfort food at its finest. Okay, check this video out, try it out. You are going to love it. Don't forget to hit the video with a thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it, if you want to make it, or if you think I did a good job with this recipe, just give it a like for me. And of course, I love to talk with you guys in the comment section. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you make your stew chicken down below. And just leave me anything. I want to talk to y'all, so comment below, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.